Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We are the Dynamic Software Professionals, and today we're going to be telling you about our collaboration experience with Kiefer Consulting. We created an extranet portal to facilitate project management in companies and projects. First, I want to start off by telling you a little bit about us. My name is Tony, and I was the project manager for this team. I'm studying currently to become a certified associate in project management through the Project Management Institute. I've been in school for six years because I also have an option in organizational management and uh, speak Italian because I spent a lot of time in studying those languages. Next we have Brittany Farrar and she's also studying for the uh, Kaplan test and she delivered a lot of great content that was project management based through her education. Kelsey Denmark was also on our team and she was my uh, number two so she was a great worker, great organizer. And we also have Matt Hopkins who was our resident techie and he's certified with SAP 6.0. So the mission that Team DSP had while completing this project was based on two things. Cloud computing and software as a service. Now we are providing a, a SharePoint site to facilitate project management for a company or a project and this is done by aligning it with a company's strategy, culture, and organization. Now based on these tenets, it could be customized in really any way and there are unlimited solutions that we could provide. While we use this to deliver what Kiefer Consulting wanted, it was integral to have feedback. So feedback is imperative when you are delivering a service to a client and being able to implement the feedback they give you gives them the product and the service that they really want. So now I'm going to tell you a little bit about our homepage. The homepage is supposed to be aesthetically pleasing but it also acts sort of like a portfolio management that we can see our entire team our entire company or team. We have the calendar here set on the monthly view. Now we could change this view to be seeing the week or the day, but this is useful on the home page because it gives the larger picture. Now for a business solution, the calendar view would be great for small offices or even large companies. In a small office, some, somebody like a receptionist is going to be dealing with customers and scheduling appointments. And the beauty of a cloud calendar is that it is updated in real time. So whoever, whatever resources are allocated to those meetings will be immediately notified. Next we're going to show you the project plan we developed. I'm sure you're all familiar with project plans and Gantt charts being in project management. This is a great tool for estimating the sorts of tasks and durations, but we all know that in a project and a company the, dura the durations and rework for tasks are constantly changing. So this is a great way to set some summary tasks and then the subtasks that go along with them. And this is the basis for any project-based company or even creating a site for a project. So now I'm going to pass it off to Kelsey who will discuss some of the other features that we utilized throughout our project. I'm going to begin by talking a little bit about workflows. Workflows enable teams to um, for collaboration and delegation in a centralized and structured setting. So our team specifically used feedback and approval workflows, but just like the rest of the site, they are completely customizable um, to your needs. Um, an example of how our team actually utilized this feature was when I was assigned a uh, deliverable that I was not able to complete by myself. So I assigned uh, feedback workflows to my fellow colleagues um, requesting both critique and feedback on those documents. So um, I set a time limit, they gave me that feedback, I took their suggestions, revised my primary draft, and then sent out a um, final approval workflow to my project manager, Tony Grisano. Um, and Tony Grisano was able to approve uh, my final draft for quality and to ensure that the quality was adequate for the final submission of the deliverable. Um, this is um, relatable to a real world situation because he's going to be quality control and he's going to be the last line of defense. Uh, a next uh, the next feature that we really utilized was the ability to import and export libraries and lists into documents. 
Um, I was, um, the way I did this was I exported the weekly scores list into an Excel spreadsheet. Um, from there, I was able to analyze that data and manipulate it and actually create um, these two graphs that you see here. Um, and again, this is going to be very necessary in any type of business situation to be able to take numbers and make pictures. So, um, which brings me to my next point, the dashboard. The dashboard is a very special feature for our site. It is a glance at the progress and status of your project. So, um, here we have linked our uh, project plan and we have a uh, it is not as in-depth as if you were to click on the Quick Links um, project plan, but here we have the summary of tasks um, with preparation phase, phase one, phase two, phase three, and finally the final phase. So as you can see, we are in progress in the final phase. Um, the next, we have a um, week two breakdown of actually how we are competing with our competitors. Very realistic picture of where our weaknesses are, where our strengths are, and how actually we are competing in the real um, market. And then lastly, our issues log. Our issues log is very important because you're going to um, open up this and see the most recent issues that have occurred on your project. So now I'm going to hand it over to Brittany. All right, thank you, Kelsey. All right, so as you can see here, GSP has um, created an About Us page in order to effectively represent our company. So we believe that for a business, it is really important to establish uh, credibility and respect as for a company as a whole, as well as the individual members. So, <coughs> sorry, we understand that uh, using a web-based product like this, it can be highly depersonalized. So by creating this About Us page, we hoped that it would really help us connect with its users. Um, so we could go here and you know, really express why we're here, what our goals are, and hopefully in return have a more efficient working team. For ease of accessibility, we've also added our About Us page to the top link bar for people to access this page just like they would a normal website. Now I will share with you a little bit about our logs. The main purpose of our communication log was to ensure that each member of the pro project that was involved has access to all key information. Now in order to um, understand what information we needed to document, we asked ourselves a simple question. We sat down and said, okay, if we were to pick up an important business phone call right now, what are the key things, what are the bullets that we would take in order to document this phone call? And so by doing that, we were able to come up with the um, headings, the columns, in order to provide the most efficient and uh, simple way of getting the message of communication across. Um, also, we believe, sorry, um, we believe that this will be highly beneficial for uh, clients to deliver uh, change requests as well as serve as a, um, what is that word? <laughs> um, an insurance policy so that there's no, you know, he said, she said um, kind of disagreements. All right, so as far as our issues log goes, we were able to use this to keep all members aware of the issues we encountered throughout the project. As you can see, we assigned each issue to a team member, as well as gave it a issue status and a priority uh, ranked low, um, normal, or high. So by doing this and breaking each issue down like this, we're able to really resolve, resolve issues quicker and the same issue never reoccurred. So now I will hand you off to Matt. Hello everybody. Um, I'm going to briefly go over a couple features that were extremely beneficial to us throughout the project. Um, first I'm going to go over alerts. Alerts were beneficial to us for numerous reasons, but more specifically they were extremely customizable, as you can see down here, to your specific alert. Um, they have multiple ways of transmitting these alerts to you, whether it be through email or through text.
text message. And also, if there's a feature on SharePoint, you likely can assign an alert to it. So it's extremely uh, ubiquitous throughout the program. Um, whether it be lists, libraries, your calendar. For example, a good use case of that is if you have an employee who focuses his entire schedule around the calendar on SharePoint, he can set permissions for his or for a client to upload and modify existing schedules so that he can get that sent to his laptop or his cell phone and he won't have to go back to the office in order to check the schedule and waste precious man hours. The same could be said for someone like a help desk employee who's out in the field doing repairs. He could have uh, alerts sent to his cell phone, that way he will be able to take care of it all out on the field without having to communicate back and forth to his office computer. Next, I'm going to talk about permissions. Um, permissions were an incredibly powerful tool that um, SharePoint provides for its administrators. Uh, the way they handle permissions is through granting or revoking permissions. Um, as you can see right here, there's several different categories that you can list in there. The top being full control. This is something you probably want to just assign to your administrator uh, because as we learned, one of our lessons that we learned throughout the project is that having full control over your site when you're just learning the software uh, can have some pretty drastic consequences. At one point, we deleted our entire site. But luckily, Microsoft was quick to their feet, and they got us restored within 24 hours, and we were up and running with no damage done. So, yeah, full control. Keep with your admins. There's things like view only. You can give that to a client. If he wants to just um, view the site, you want to give them just viewing privileges of your contacts or something like that. They won't be able to modify or delete anything, but they can yeah, view. Um, at the top there, you can see users and groups. This is great because you can not only assign specific permissions to individuals, but you can group those individuals together and assign permissions across that group. And with that said, stemming from that, you can also assign permissions to the top level site, and it will inherit and cascade throughout the hierarchy of sites, giving a permission. You can set the permissions in one place so that you don't have to go through each page uniquely identifying permissions. But you can keep that structure and then stop inheriting, and you can have unique permissions for specific lists that you want, whatever you want. It's a very flexible, powerful tool, and we used it very extensively throughout the project. But I'm going to toss it back over to Tony for conclusions. So in closing, we want to tell you a little bit about why you should choose us to possibly work for you. Now, we had many lessons learned, and our motto during these was that we make mistakes, not excuses. So when we make mistakes, we obviously need to notify you and take your feedback so that we can improve. Everybody needs to learn, and if somebody actually believes that they know the full content of some, some material or any tool, they are mistaken, because everybody can learn more. Our team has dealt with conflict resolution, and we believe that only through conflict with resolution, working relationships are greatly improved. This goes into the feedback process that we would be using from our superiors as entry-level employees in providing this service. We feel comfortable and confident enough that if you were to hire us today, we could provide a SharePoint site for a small office of about 20 employees. So I would like to thank you for your time, and we welcome your questions, and would appreciate your feedback. Okay. <laughs> um, what, what did you when, find to be the most challenging uh, part of this project? Can you go back to that? The most page? challenging <clears throat> part of the project was dealing with, um, we, we really were trying to find problems that we could create solutions for. So if we had been given some sort of problems that keep consulting, like either hypothetical situations or actual problems, we would be able to come up with some creative responses. The only problems we encountered were actually creating the deliverables and sort of following, um, like trying to deliver exactly what you wanted instead of being able to have a creative solution to a set problem where um, in certain you know, scenarios it would be easier. What do you guys think? Can you repeat the question? I'm sorry. What was the most difficult part, part of the project? Um, my most something that I struggled with was like this is some um, my first time at seeing a lot of 
project management terms and just even business analyst terms. So it was I was learning by default, trial and error, which that oftentimes takes a lot longer to learn something. Um, so that was just again like I was learning what a project like what a communication log was as they're trying to tell us to develop one. So I was like, wow. Oh. So you're so, in a different school then? No, I'm in project management. I just haven't taken those courses okay. yet. So I'm in business. So I'm, it was a very interesting process, but it was a big, big uh, struggle at times just figuring out what was meant by like scope, things like that, which I hadn't learned that well, she, exactly. she was our most junior member, so it was a great, uh, very valuable a learning process for her because she actually hasn't taken Sean Morgan's first yeah. class yet. I know a lot now. <laughs> um, for me, I would say just the massive amount of content to learn with SharePoint. It's, it's a huge platform and there's so many areas that you have to kind of mess around with in order to learn. You know, it's one of those things where you can't read a book in order to, you know, get a feel for it. And we you know, there was a lot to do in little time, so we had to divvy out the tasks. So somebody may be handling permissions, somebody may be handling the project plan. So it was sort of difficult to, you know, master what you've been assigned, but also get caught up with what they're doing, all the while handling all these other tasks at the same time. So a lot of time management went into this project, and uh, obviously having to pick up technology real quick. And probably for me, was just in the very beginning, trying to grasp the fact or the idea of what SharePoint really was, it was this platform, and I just kept wanting to think it was like this simple thing that was this reason, but um, we really were able to dive into it and really explore a lot, so it just took a lot of time and tweaking and... <laughs> you, you successfully deleted your site. <laughs> and successfully panicked Kiefer. <laughs> Microsoft is very responsive and they actually have great customer support. Yeah. I mean, they're on top of their data recovery, obviously, if they could recover up to five hours before the deletion. So, if anything, it gained confidence in Microsoft as a tech company. <laughs> we found that that actually is the best, actually, I responded to them on a survey. It was the best customer support of anybody, any group at Microsoft. Really? I believe that. the Office 365 group. Yeah. They even did follow up calls to make sure everything worked after the also That's learning awesome. what the recycle bin was is really uh, nice too. <laughs> <laughs> I have two questions. First, if you had to redo this project again, what would you change? And were there any areas or technologies that you wanted to use but didn't have time to dive into or wanted to dive into more? Um, you want to go first again? Well, I'll start with one of the web applications. I really wish that I could have done more with the the project plan application because I'm familiar with the MS project version, but working with the cloud, we encountered difficulties with Internet Explorer and actually using other browsers like Firefox. Um, if we could change anything about the project, it would, it would actually be, you know, having having some requests of the, the software being more compatible or having having a little more um, facilitation of, of finding the, the exact things that can work in either browser because even using Internet Explorer, there were things that we couldn't complete. And that goes back to the project plan application that I was talking about, where uh, well, I could easily assign the resources and set durations, but I couldn't set the baseline. And that seems to me to be the, one of the most important things of the Gantt chart. That, they actually have a separate product, product that extends that stuff to do it, oh, okay. which is Microsoft Project Server. Which is right. <laughs> Um, for me, I would have liked to delve into more of the customizability aspect of SharePoint. I know they've got a program, a great program out there, SharePoint Developer, and we were actually allowed to download it, but the intricacies involved and uh, just the time constraints, I didn't have enough time to research into that program. Uh, I would have liked to definitely check that out some more and see how maybe .NET could interact within SharePoint, maybe just the more complex interactions and customizability customizability options. Um, I think it would have been really beneficial to uh, stay more in contact with our Keeper Consulting contact um, and really ask him a lot more questions. Um, I, until the third week, we actually weren't um, aware that we could contact him outside of our assigned mm -hmm. 
uh, <laughs> given time block. So once we did that, we really felt comfortable talking to him about how to improve our site and what things we could do to go above and beyond. Yeah, I'm going to agree with Matt. I wish I really, like, after just, like, playing around with the homepage, really realized how like, much I really enjoyed designing those aspects of the site, like, and just, like, small things like borders and fonts and when I was trying to put web parts in, just some of the, like, fonts that I had in um, Office weren't, like, there was, there just a lot more women in number there, and I'm guessing there's a bigger um, program that offers more um, customizability and able to, yeah. <laughs> so, um, that's something I really enjoyed, and if I um, had more knowledge of developing, like, and creating sites, How, how tied do you think your success as an organization, as a consulting company, is to SharePoint versus the attributes you bring as individuals or as professionals? Well, SharePoint is a tool, and the most important thing about a tool is who is using it. A tool can do nothing without a user, so it is definitely very important what we bring we're all members of a professional business fraternity, and we've done several other um, sorts of business activities, but we actually haven't provided this sort of service before. And we've had uh, professional communications and, and created you know, events uh, such as these, but we're more geared towards college students for either doing like interview seminars and things like that. And we feel confident in our professional abilities that we are adaptable and we have a passion for learning. So whatever you give us to work with, all we need is time. And if we had more time, we would continue to master the tool. Have you guys worked together before in front of the team? Within our professional fraternity, yes. Mm -hmm. But yeah, SharePoint definitely is an incredible tool to facilitate any business process. So I mean, we saw within working with it, you know, it beats any file share. Um, there's so much you know, um, with permissions alone, you can just, the interaction with the files they upload, you can have it just within executives, or you can have company-wide files uploaded, and, you know, that's just one small feature. As far as SharePoint supporting business processes, it definitely is worth the investment. It's just, uh, there's no question about it compared to any other, like, paper-based system or anything prior to this, I think. It's definitely worth the investment for any IT department. Have we answered your question, or were you looking for a different aspect? Yes, yeah. Okay. Uh, during the course of, of this project with SharePoint, um, what were some of the issues you encountered besides submitting your site that sh you managing your project on SharePoint helped with either communication or the example you gave with um, your revision to the document? Um, how did SharePoint kind of help guide you or using that tool help the course of the project? Well, SharePoint is uh, definitely used for teams that are working across large ge geographical areas. And as part of the real world and working world, people do go on vacation. And one of our members went down to Mexico for the spring break from, uh, you know, she already had plans and she was still able to use the site and up update any content that she was working on. So that was a practical application where we got to use it, where of course we're all working together over the internet while we're in Chico, but you know, over large geographical barriers, we'll, we're still able to collaborate with this tool. Uh, yeah, I'd like to add on that. Since it's a software as a service, I mean, Brittany was able to pop onto any computer if she wanted to in Mexico and open up her browser and there were no installs required, you know, just launched up the site, logged in, ready to go. We found that extremely beneficial. We didn't have to install any uh, thick client software. and. Um, like I said, the file share thing, we really interacted with that a lot. The communication logs, all the logs were extremely beneficial. If Tony would have a, you know, a phone session, he would update within the communication log and we could all review what he went over with uh, one of the contacts. So there's just so much utility that we got out of the site rather than just standard text messaging or some other service on the internet. Another, um, in solving issues that we, like I was having trouble exporting a list and I sat there for a long time and then 
Um, I actually went to the CSU SharePoint site, looked up that issue log, so just using my own resources, and realized that the same issue that I've been having had been recorded. It didn't have like a solution, but I was able to just like see like, okay, this issue has been before, so then I was able to go right directly to my SharePoint contact um, to get that result, which again, that's going to happen, and just being able to like go to my SharePoint resource site and get that resolved was really beneficial and uh, as, along with what Matt was saying, I we uploaded all our scripts on there so that I could upload it one time, edit it or go back and make revisions and they would all have it. I didn't have to worry about emails and that just like really cut down time for me because there was times where I'd find something and be like, oh, you know, here's this and so you're not getting 10 emails is in one spot. In the fragmentation, say yeah. somebody's editing the script here and over here, you know, if it's in one repository, it can be merged documents. Yeah, that was really nice also. So. Do you guys want to show your favorite update video? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. It's probably our last the video. Last, yeah. The last one. Yeah, we put a lot of effort into this. <laughs> Thanks, guys. 